Welcome to News Update. Federal Government to ask you, we cannot pay for work not done. The Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment has refuted media reports alleging bias in the payment of salary of member of the Academy Staff Union of Nigeria, ASU. The Ministry further dismissed ASU claim that their member were paid half salary for the month of October. In a press statement issued by Olajide Oshundo, Head of Press and Public Relations, the Labor Ministry on Saturday said that both party that both report as grossly inaccurate, misleading, bare-faced distortion of facts. The statement explained that members of us who were paid their October salary through RATA and not half salary as the media widely reported. According to the ministry, Purata was done because they cannot be paid for work not done. It states that the Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Indigi, never directed the Accountant General of the Federation to pay the university lecturer half salary. The statement in part read, Following the ruling of the Court of Appeal, which upheld the order of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria, asking us to go back to work, the leadership of the union wrote to the minister, informing him that they have suspended the strike. The federal ministry wrote to him in a, in a similar vein, and our labor inspector in various states also confirmed that they have resumed work. So the minister wrote to the federal ministry of finance, budget and planning, directing that their salary should be restored. They were paid in pro rata to the number of days that they worked in October counting from the day that they suspended their industrial action. Prorata was done because you cannot pay them for work not done. Everybody's hands are tied. The ministry equally faulted a statement by the chairperson of ASU, Usman Danfudu University, Udus branch, Yokoto, Mohammed N. Ali Mustafa, accusing the Honorable Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Indigi, of bias payment of salary to selective, selected professional member of the union. Those obviously being referred to by the Udus Asu chairperson were member of the Medical and Dental Consultants Association, who abstained from the eight-month strike of Asu because they, ab they abhorred the incessant strike by the union and its great effect on medical education in Nigeria and production of more medical doctors. Accusing the Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Indigi, of bias payment of salary to selected professional member of ASU is a bad faith distortion of facts. Mustafa said, We received information that a segment of staff in the College of Health Science has been paid seven months of their weekly salary from March to September due to a letter written to the Minister of Finance instructing the exemption of the underlisted staff on the application of no work, no pay rule. To set the record straight, the medical lecturer who had been referred to by the chairperson of the ASU, Udus branch, have seen from the eight-month strike of ASU. This had been corroborated in the press statement by the chairman, MD Scan of Udus, Dr. B. Jubrin, and Secretary Dr. I.G. Angu on Friday, November 4, 2022. Consequently, the Ministry dismissed the accusation of select, selective treatment in the payment of salary to ASU, urging the media to cross-check their facts to avoid feeding the public with the wrong information. This is the news about ASU. The federal government through the Labor Minister have come out to clarify why the October salary of ASU was not in full. According to him, the payment was pro rata and not half salary, that the salary commenced from the day they resume work and not half salary as being speculated. So this is the news. What is your opinion on this? Kindly let us know in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Until I come your way some other time, God bless you.